Prince George's County, where 13 current and one retired police officer have been indicted. The charges stem from an alleged double dipping scheme allegedly orchestrated by a former lieutenant who's facing federal charges in a separate but related case. Our Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins has been following this story from the start and has the new details tonight. Corporal Nick Agapov. It didn't him. happen on his watch, but today, the current Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz named each of the officers charged one by one. Most were corporals. 13 current and one retired county police officer charged with misconduct in office, along with felony and misdemeanor theft charges. If the allegations are proven true during the judicial process, their actions not only tarnish the badge we all wear proudly, but also erode the community's trust. News 4 was first to report the suspensions of a number of officers that began last year. The domino of discipline action and investigations began shortly after the arrest of former Lieutenant Edward Scott Finn. Finn operated a security company overseeing 20 apartment complexes in the county. He employed officers he supervised for part-time employment for him while they were supposed to be working for the department, allegedly allowing them to earn two salaries. You have as a, a, you know, a failure in a system. Uh, and policies or inadequate policies in place, whether they are, uh, are inadequate or lacking, uh, contributed uh, to the circumstances the, around this, this whole incident. Finn is now facing federal tax evasion charges for allegedly not reporting some $1.3 million in income from his company in a separate but related case. It is very difficult to have to bring a case like this to the public. However, it is critical to our system of justice that those sworn to protect us operate with integrity. Investigators were led to Finn shortly after an investigation into former county police corporal Daryl Warmoth. Warmoth was charged with criminal assault after allegedly grabbing a handcuffed 17-year-old boy by the throat. According to sources with direct knowledge of the investigation, Warmoth's charges and tips from other officers revealed the alleged scheme. Today, we have some bad apples that need to be held accountable. If convicted, each of these officers could be looking at up to five years for the felony charges. There are no maximum charges for the misdemeanor. I'm Tracy Wilkins in Upper Marlboro for News 4. Now, the chief says that because of this case, they have now restructured secondary employment policies, and there is now an audit of officers who work a second job. Former Chief Hank Stawinski ran the department when this alleged scheme was in operation. The state's attorney's office says he is not tied to the investigation. Sean.